all right all right welcome to all Mans tv my name is jix animo and here we drop new videos all the time ranging from Olympiad and some other international um uh, math challenges okay before us today we have an exponential equation the question reads one all over x equal to 27 to the power of x so what there will be the possible value or values of x okay before going to today's challenge if you're new to this channel kindly subscribe and when you subscribe do not forget to turn on the bell notification button so that you get notified whenever we drop wonderful video new videos like the world you're about to watch right now so without much waste of time let's take down our question so we take here solution all right we put down the question here we have one all over x equal to 27 to the power of x good now we're having a variable here at the base and at the same time we're having a variable at the exponent so how do we do this this may pose um, a bit challenge so but you are going to use a method that will enable you to beat the examiner time what i will do here is this what i have here now i will raise it to the power of x okay if we take it to the power of s we also bring a problem so what we do here is to raise it to the power of one all over x we only raise it to the power of one all over x and so i can rewrite this as one all over x r to the power of one all over x equal to 27 to the power of x r to the power of one all over x oh let me write this s very well please so we have here one all over x good now according to the uh, law of indices which says that if you have your uh, let's take uh, a to the power of m n this is equal to your a to the power of m or in bracket to the power of n in other words we can multiply the powers right now this is an exponent this is an exponent so if we multiply this by this this is all over divisible one and so this x will go with this x here and so here we're left with 27 in other words we're going to have this to be one all over x r to the power of one all over x equal to 27. okay now something comes to mind here now we're having the base raised to itself here and there is um a way we can equally think of bringing out um a number that we can raise to itself to give us 27. what could that be that is three three to the power of three will give us uh, 27. and so we can rewrite this as our one all over x r to the power of one all over x equal to three to the power of three good now record the law which says that if you have if you have um let's take your a to the power of a equal to your b to the power of b the law says that so long this number is raised to itself on this other side of the equation this is also raised to itself then the base will be equal at the same time you can equate the what the exponent too so the exponent will also be equal so if we go by that we're going to have this to be so if we echo our belief on that law we're going to have this to be let's continue on this other side we're going to have this to be your one all over x which is the exponent here will be equal to the exponent here or the base equal to the base here equal to your three very easy so the equation is now simplified we cannot get our s with is here this is all over visible one there all we need to do is to cross multiply so three times x here and your one times one will give us here three x equal to one Getting our s is simple now. So we have all over three, this, this list. So we have x is equal to one all over three. Easy. Now we can go ahead to check to see or to know if um this root will satisfy this expression here. So let's take check. So let's check. From our equation, we have one all over x equal to 27 to the power of x. So this will give us one all over one all over three equal to 27 or to the power of 1 all over 3. Okay. This is cube root. Okay. Now, if we find the reciprocal of this inverse, this will give us 3. So let's proceed on this side. So the inverse of this automatically we're going to have this to be 3. 
And yeah, being a cube root, we can equally rewrite this as a three. I need to save here. Look for a number you multiply by itself into three places to give you 27. Of course, it is three. So we have this to be three equal to three. So this shows that the root or the answer to our exponential equation, which is uh, one all over three, is correct. This marks the end of this class. This is all I must TV. If you like what is going on here, give the video a thumbs up. You have a better way of solving this in order to beat the examiner time. Drop it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Remember, I said here yeah, we are here to strike a win-win situation where you learn from me and I also learn from you too. Every one of us at All I Must TV loves you so much because you have encouraged us in the time past and you are still there encouraging us. Who will not fail to love you? Bye for now.